The Basilica of Santa Croce was constructed beginning in the year 1294 during a massive urban renewal program here in the city of Florence. And in fact, this church is the second largest in the city and the largest Franciscan church in the entire world. Now, the facade of the building is actually 19th century and neo-Gothic and disguises the 14th century Gothic church behind it. Now, the inside of this church was Renaissance, just like Santa Maria Novella, the whitewash covering up the original 14th century frescoes and the rude screen that once divided the clergy from the laity removed as well. But Santa Croce is home to some of Florence's most important artistic treasures. Frescoes by the great Giotto, a wooden crucifix by Donatello, but its most celebrated feature is in fact the collection of celebrity tombs that are located inside. The tomb of Michelangelo, the great sculptor, painter, and architect. The tomb of Galileo, Galilei, the physicist, astronomer, and mathematician. The tomb of Niccolo Machiavelli, the father of political science. The tomb of Gioacchino Rossini, the great composer. The tomb of Lorenzo Ghiberti, the great goldsmith and sculptor and author of the most famous doors in the world, the Gates of Paradise. But not the tomb of Dante Alighieri. In fact, that large structure that you'll see inside is a cenotaph or funerary monument to the great poet whose body rests in the city of Ravenna. So don't be fooled, because when you walk into Santa Croce, it seems like anyone who's played a part in history is actually buried here. So when you're in Florence, be sure to visit the most Gothic of Florentine churches, the Basilica of Santa Croce, and to visit the greatest assembly of celebrity tombs anywhere in the world.